Welcome to Improv, and thank you so much for coming. And tonight, we're going to have a very special treat for all of you. Who's good at improv? Well, I'll tell you. Children are good at it. Parents are good at it. Teachers are good at it. And we will see if our amateur contestant tonight on Improv is good at it as well. Welcome, Mason! And we'd like to thank our sponsor for providing us uh, all the support we need. Our sponsor, of course, is Reality. All right, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to improve? I can't believe that stupid show's on again. The guy gets up there and bellows, are you ready to improv? A bunch of little, you know what, so they never had to work a day in their life getting up on stage and acting like they're somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's three in the morning, I got four cats to feed, and guess what? Somebody forgot, actually forgot, to bring in the trash can from the street. And so I got to go out at 3.30 in the morning and roll the trash can within... Uh, 18 inches of some veterinary student's window, even though it's a spacious amount of yard, in actuality, it's right beside me, to my left, the window they're probably sleeping in. Uh, whatever they're doing, they're doing it 18 inches away, perhaps 24. And I'm rumbling the trash can down the winding driveway as it goes past the window. Cat's eyes are all over, and I roll the can to the back, unhinge it, go into the house, and the door screams and slams, just a little too loud for 3 a.m. Then I get the trash can and stumble on a cat toy as I walk out the door, and the trash is in the backyard. I was stumbling, I was bumbling, and I was reminiscent of Edgar Allan Poe and certain worthy of his deed. But I managed to retain my senses and come into the kitchen and do what I'd intended to begin with and feed my cats. All right, that was a perfectly good improvisation by Mason James. Now, Mason, what made you think of that improv? And did you know we've got something to match your improv? Because we actually have already seen your improvisation. When you did the rehearsal, we filmed it. And we got another side to your story. So your improvisation and ours will make the story that's worth paying the free admission to. All right, Mason. So tell us a little bit about what you had in mind there. What were you trying to convey? Reality a real situation that occurred to me. Uh, rolling the trash can at 3 a.m., it makes an odd rumble. A quiet neighborhood. I see. And so that was all it was, just a little uh, chore that was at a very inopportune time, and you saw the humor in it, and you delivered that to the audience. But guess what, Mason? We decided to be your next-door neighbor, and that's coming up in just a minute on Improv. Don't go away. And so, our good participant, Mason, had to go through the trash, roll the can in at three in the morning, and his window, his neighbor's window is very close to his driveway as he's rumbling the trash can. He has some misfall, and we already heard the story, but now, we take you inside that window. That's no use. Can't sleep. I have to demonstrate how men a goat's broken hoof, and I don't think I'm ready. Roger! Roger. Sorry to bother you. Uh, I, I can't sleep. I have a clinical demo tomorrow with Dr. Gillespie. You know, the total prick. 
Uh, can you come to my computer in my room here and help me kind of cram for this demo? My whole semester rides on this. If I can't fix that goat's hoof, I might be supersizing fries till I'm 40. Mm. <clears throat> All right, Bill. Just give me a second here. Maybe let's make some coffee. You see, Roger, those clips, they clearly show how to mend the hoof. The trouble I have is, is I know how to mend the hoof. That part I have. It's just that I don't do goats well. I guess I have a terrible barnside manner. Bill, uh, relax. You're the top 20% of your class. You're going to ace this demo. Now, trust me. Uh, I don't know, Roger. I wish I was as confident as you. Look at you. You're already a detective going into law enforcement. It's right down your alley. Uh, but I'm just going to be a vet because Dad was a vet, and so was Gramps. Uh, it runs in the family. Now settle down, Bill. It's nice and quiet. It's 3 a.m. We're just gonna get through this. Roger, what the hell's going on next door? Oh, who knows, that dingbat has a herd of cats. Probably rummaging. I think it's cats major in havoc. I've been watching the neighbor. And as a detective, I notice things. Roger, you're exaggerating. I know you're a detective. But I'm sure there was nothing going on next door. Well, Bill, earlier this evening, there were some strange men in dark sedans and black suits. Roger, these guys weren't salesmen. Bill, can we just get back to the goats? I've got to be able to deal with a goat tomorrow and mend this hoof. I don't have time to deal with men in black next door and cats knocking over trash cans or not my concern oh yeah bill take a look it's going through his trash item by item i bet those guys in the dark suits will be back before morning now bill who rummages through the trash at 3 a.m guilty people that's who bill we have a guilty neighbor and we are watching a crime in progress now bill this friendly neighbor he grows mushrooms in his garage. I bet the feds are already on top of this guy. We gotta stop him, Bill. Marjorie, can we just get back to the goat? Bill, grab your coat. The game is afoot. Well, where are we going, Marjorie? We're going to beat the feds to this guy right now. Let's move. <laughs> Roger, what about the goats? My demo. Your demo is gonna be fine. You know, I heal the hoof just fine. Now let's get our hooves a moving. This guy's doing mushrooms. He's planting them in this garage. The feds are there, and we can be the hero. <laughs> Roger, I don't want to be a hero. I just want to make my goat happy. Bill, in the name of the state of California, I am going to deputize you and we are going to find this criminal. We're going to find out what he's doing. He's got mushrooms going. Now you realize what an industry that is. He only lives about eight blocks from the freeway. Guys are coming to his house in dark sedans. Now, now, and now he's rummaging through his trash at three in the morning. They're on to him, Bill, and we can be the heroes. He'll find us. It's okay. Confrontation might be the best way. In fact, I think it is the best way. <laughs> Wait, Roger. Look, there's cats. They're watching us. Those cats know I'm a veterinarian or soon will be. They can tell. Those cats know, Roger. They're coming after us. Look, we better run. Uh, okay, yeah. Da dash over to the left. Hit the trash cans and hide. Bill. You're gonna have to get that barn side manor. You can't even handle trash can side manor. Look at these cats, they're coming after us. Let's, let's, let's go behind the garage. Roger, what's that? Over there, behind, he's got horns. He's, he looks kind of vicious. I don't know, it looks like a goat. It, it is a goat. It's a goat. 
I'll get to practice some oh, for my demo. <laughs> we better start practicing because he's coming right after us. Jump on him. Hold on, Roger. He's just a goat. Just hold on. Man, those cats must be rummaging again. I think I'm going to have to get me a new hobby. And yes, officer, I would like to report a stolen goat. He was been missing since four this morning. I heard him running around and making all kind of racket, and I ain't seen him when I come up to milk him this morning. I'd appreciate it if you could find it, because it's the only goat I got that ain't never broke a hoof. Thanks for joining us on Improv. You've been a great audience. And be sure to tell your friends about us. Good night, everybody.